Content Picker is a tool that compiles the anniversary edition add-ons in a way that allows you to decide what pieces you want. This process works for any mod manager capable of handling faux mod installers. Welcome to Gamer Poets and to modding my way. Sit back, relax, and pause when needed. You got this. Step one, open the anniversary edition content picker page. Open files. Download the main file. Open the archive that was downloaded. Make a new folder wherever you like. Drag and drop the contents inside. Leave this folder open. Step two. In the second window, open the game folder. Open data. If you have followed my clean installation video, you may already have an official CC backups folder. If you don't, create one. Name it whatever you like. Hold shift. Click the top file that starts with CC. Scroll down to the last file that starts with CC. Hold shift and click again. Right click and copy. Open your new backups folder and paste them in. Arrow back once. Highlight all of the CC files again. Right click and cut them. Open Dark Fox's CC content folder. Paste the files inside. After the files transfer, arrow back once. Close the data window. It's no longer needed. In the AE content picker window, arrow back once again. Right click the folder and pack it into an archive. If you aren't familiar with how to use archive programs, I've linked a video with various beginner and intermediate modding tips. Step 3. Open your mod manager. Drag and drop the AE content picker archive that we just created inside. Install it like any other mod. The window that opens is what we call a faux mod installer. Select next. Here you can choose to install everything or this option, selective install. Hover over an option on the right and an image with a description for it is on the left. Select what you like. When you're ready, move on by clicking next. Continue through each section until you get to the end. Notice that as you go, a few choices are auto-selected. These four options are considered AE base game content and they should remain checked unless you have a sound reason to do otherwise. Once you reach the end, install and give a moment for the mod to actually do so. Make sure it's activated or not. If at any point you decide to download mods from the community that rely on any of these add-ons, you are going to have to go back and make sure that they are both installed and activated. You can just reinstall the archive and go through the selection process again if need be. If you ever verify your game files, the four main Creation Club mods that come with the anniversary edition will be re-downloaded into your data folder. You can simply delete them there if needed. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.